60 here now we've got some leaked GTX 880 specifications now firstly let me preface this and I think I should do this every single time I make a video about leaked specifications look at the date of this video 12th of April 2014 or at least that's when I'm recording this now when you say you come and watch this three four months in the future if you see that the specs do not match up, then please note that obviously there's a difference here. Uh, these specs are specifically just leaked and they might not actually be legitimate. However, I'm reporting on it for the sake of you guys so you guys know what could possibly be coming from Nvidia and from the GTX 880 on the new Maxwell architecture. Now firstly, let's just take a look. This is courtesy of Tech Power Up. Now this is not from WCCF.com. So Tech Power Up has quite a bit of legitimacy, but like I said before, no one knows. Could be BS, could be legit, but anyway, let's get straight to it. Now firstly, it's going to be based on the 20 nanometer GM204 uh, core or silicon. Now this is good, that means that TSMC pretty much, or is it TSMC or TMSC? It, TSMC I'm pretty sure it is, well, who cares, regardless. We know that by then they will have 20 nanometer architecture ready for both AMD and Nvidia, which is great. This thing is supposed to have 3200 CUDA cores. That is absolutely ridiculous. 3200 CUDA cores. That's nuts. To put that into perspective, the GTX uh, Titan and the Titan Black, no, just the Titan Black, sorry, has 2688, I believe it is. Uh, CUDA cores, I think that's a full-fledged uh, uh, GK110 GPU, it might be a bit more than that, but regardless, that's a big difference between the two, and let's not forget that this is based on new architecture, so you should be seeing even better performance, it's not just based off core-to-core, -core, uh, it's not a core-to-core -core comparison. It's supposed to have 200 TMUs or texture mapping units, which is good. 32 ROPs. I'm not gonna. I'm not an expert on ROP, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna say it has 32 ROPs, and it's supposed to have 5.7 teraflops of single precision floating point uh, performance. Now that is massive. That is a lot. 5.7 teraflops. Now to put it into perspective, I believe the 290X from AMD was the first to pass the 5 teraflop um, barrier. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think I heard them saying something about that, but I'm not 100% sure. However, regardless of all that, the big thing that I'm quite concerned about is the 256-bit uh, memory interface. This is so random. This is supposed to have 4 gigabytes of video memory, however, they're only doing this of a 256-bit bus. This is what makes me think, oh, this might not be legit, because the GTX 780, I'm pretty sure it has a 384-bit bus. I'm not Actually, hold on, let me look that up. GTX 780 384-bit bus. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know why they would pit, uh, put sorry, 256-bit uh, bus on a GTX 780. Makes no sense. Yes, it does have a 384-bit bus with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So for them to put uh, 4 gigs of RAM on a 256-bit bus makes no sense. Now some people want to argue, oh you need only 60, uh, only a 64-bit uh, interface per gigabyte of RAM. However, just, uh, just weird, like that's, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Carrying on, it's supposed to have 238 giga, uh, gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth. Now I'm pretty sure that's gigabytes, not gigabits. However, bandwidth, oh, Hmm, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure about that. That should be more specific. Uh, clock speed, it's supposed to have a base clock speed of 900 megahertz and the boost of 950. And the memory is supposed to be clocked at 7.4 gigahertz effectively. So 7.4 divided by 2 would be 3.7. Uh, 3.7 divided by 2 again would be... Uh, 3.7, 1. Oh, 1. So 1850 megahertz uh, on the memory. So that's pretty good, and it's supposed to have 
Only 234 uh, watt TDP. That's pretty damn good. That's less than 290X and less than 780 and less than 780 Ti and less than Titan. Less than all of them. So that's good. That's nice to see. And man, if this thing truly does come out, it will be a beast. Dominate. We're going to have to see what AMD does. Maybe they'll come out with the 380X. Or, I don't know. No one knows, but I'm pumped for it, and I can't wait to see truly the next generation of gaming GPUs. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed these leak specs. No one knows if it's legit or not. However, we'll see when the day comes. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.